Father Vito, once again from Diocese of Sacramento, my warmest greeting to all of you. Let go and let God. Let go all the worries and anxieties in life and let God. Let God take over it. And don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Kuna Matata. Don't worry. Be happy. Today is May 5th and it's Thursday. Blessings to all of you. Blessings to your families and loved ones in these trying times. God bless you all. I will be meditating on the Gospel of John chapter 6 verses 44 to 51. Jesus said to the crowd, No one come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, This shall be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. No, not anyone has sent the Father except the one who is from God. He has sent the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the man in the desert, but he died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Fascinating Gospel. Jesus used the words in the book of Exodus, Ego mei, Ego mei. I am who I am. I am the bread of life. I will give you eternal life. God offers His people abundant life, each one of us. We can miss it because of our sinfulness, our shortcomings. What is the bread of life which Jesus offers? It is first of all the life of God Himself. When He died on the cross, He offered Himself to each one of us. The life which sustain us not only now in this age but also in the age to come. The rabbi said the generation, the wilderness have no part in the life to come. In the book of Numbers, if you remember your Bible, if you remember the scripture, it is recorded that the people who refused to brave the dangers of the promised land were condemned to wander in the wilderness until they died. The rabbis believed that the father who missed the promised land also missed the life to come. God sustained the Israelites in the wilderness with manna from heaven. It was a beautiful story when God provided food to the Israelites in the desert. This bread foreshadows the true heavenly bread which Jesus would offer his followers. My brothers and sisters, every time we celebrate the Holy Eucharist, every time we participate the Eucharistic meal every Sunday in our parish or everywhere, it is Jesus provides us food from heaven. It is the body the soul and divinity of Jesus that we accept into our life. Jesus is the bread of life and Jesus makes a claim only God can make. He is the true bread that can satisfy the deepest hunger we experience. The manna from heaven prefigured the super abundance of the unique bread of the Holy Eucharist of the Lord's Supper which Jesus gave his disciples on the eve of his sacrifice. When Jesus said, take this all of you and eat of this, this is my body. This is a beautiful experience to each one of us that our Lord give us the bread from heaven. The manna in the wilderness sustained the Israelites on the journey to the promised land. It could not produce eternal life for the Israelites. The bread which Jesus offers his disciples sustain us not only in our journey to heavenly paradise, but it gives us the abundant supernatural life of God which sustain us for all eternity. 
my brothers and sisters, I would encourage you to go to the Holy Eucharist every Sunday or every day if you can make it and bring your families and loved ones because it is the miracle that Jesus performed that can give, satisfy the longing of our hearts. God bless you all and have a wonderful day. Bye.